Hello, let us know about joint motion. As the name itself says, joint motion, meaning movement of a joint. Sounds simple, but is not so. Joint motion is divided into two, osteokinematics and arthrokinematics. Though osteokinematics and arthrokinematics, it works simultaneously, there is vast difference between the two. What happens in osteokinematics is, these are the normal joint movements or the physiological joint movements, to be precise, which acts upon different planes and axes, your frontal, transverse and sagittal planes. If you'll know what planes and axes is, well and good. If not, you can check my previous video of the same. So osteokinematics are the movements of the joint, which we can see with our naked eyes. It can be voluntarily isolated and it, okay, and it acts in the imaginary planes and axes. Now, whereas in arthrokinematics, these are the movements which cannot be voluntarily isolated. You cannot see these movements with your naked eyes. So arthrokinematics are the movements, repeating it again, you cannot voluntarily isolate it. You cannot see it with your naked eyes. Now, orthokinematics is again further segregated into three. These are the movements, rolling, sliding, which can also be called as gliding, and the last one being spinning. So let us understand how rolling, sliding, and spinning works. So for that, I'll give you all an example. So to form a joint, we need at least two bony surfaces. So one is the fixed base and the other one and the other joint surface is movable. So yeah. What happens in rolling is different points of the movable joint surface, it touches different points of the fixed base. Saying it again, different points of the movable joint surface, it touches the different points of the fixed base. Now, in sliding or gliding, same point of the movable joint surface, it touches different points of the fixed base. Again, in sliding or gliding, same point of the movable joint surface, it touches different points of the fixed base. So this is slide or glide or sliding or gliding. The third and the last one is spinning. What happens in spinning is, again the same two, joints, two bony surfaces forming a joint. But here what happens is, fixed point of the movable surface, it spins around the fixed point of the base, which is the fixed surface. So as you can see, the point, both the point, uh, the points of both the joint surface is not being changed. Movable joint surface also has the same point on the fixed point of the move on the fixed point of the fixed base. Yeah. So this is what osteokinematics and arthrokinematics all around, which cover the overall topic of joint motion. So I hope this is clear with you all. But to understand what osteokinematics is, please do check the video of planes and axes. Thank you. Bye-bye with the flexion and extension of metacarpophalangeal joint or MCP joint, which is also one of the examples of the sliding or gliding of arthrokinematic movement. Thank you again. Bye-bye.